We added in 50 new types of mobs to Minecraft. All of them with their own special abilities. Creepers, ghasts, traitors, bears, blazes. Yeah, and a couple weird ones too. Comment which mob is your favorite in the comment section below and look out for 50 more new mobs in a future video very soon. Okay, so first up our creeper variants. We start with the party creeper because today's video is a party, baby. This creeper will give off firework explosions and break my button. Given enough space, however, this party creeper will turn into a whole bunch of party cake. Oh, delicious. Oh, I broke the button again. Oh, wait, it's right here. Next one, nuclear creeper. Look at this mess. He's literally bright as the day and will give off a very strange visual effect until, well, he ruins mine. But at least he didn't blow up the cake. Now, again, if you get too close to this nuclear creeper, it will act as intended and just blow up as normal. But... It won't have too much of an effect nearby if you treat it like that. Instead, you'll want to stay the heck away. And w I, <clears throat> whether or not you're close to this creeper, if a nuclear creeper spawns in nearby, it will blow up on its own. <sighs> Moving on. We've got skeleton variants next. This one's the toxic skeleton, which will normally spawn in in swamps and will poison you with its poison arrows if you happen to be nearby. He looks quite the mess as well. It looks like his skull is covered in moss. Get away from me. Mean! He'll actually drop arrows of poison as well. So find your way into some swamps so you can get some extra special ammo types. Over here, we've got the thief skeleton. Now, be careful around this guy. Not only does he have a melee sword, but whatever you have in your hand, he will actually thieve from you and remove from your hand. Did you see that? He stole my pork chops. So sad. Hey, you want some bones, baby? How about you try on these for size? Yep, literally removing them from your inventory. However, the cool thing about it is when you kill him, well, you can safely get your stuff back. All right, moving on. We've got spider variants, and we start with the frozen cave spider. Now, this spider will normally spawn in in cold biomes, and upon being hit by it, you'll not only be poisoned, but you'll be slowed as well. So be careful navigating caves when you're in tigers. Snowy plains, iceberg areas, things of that nature. However, if you do decide to kill this spider, you'll get some ice for your trouble. N ice <laughs> Yeah. The other spider variant is the dashing cave spider. This guy is very quick and capable of some serious jumps. My goodness! Imagine that thing in your house. How about we calm down a little bit and show off some chicken variants, like the golden chicken, which will lay golden nuggets. Yes. Yes. This is all I've ever wanted. Yo, he's literally pooping him out. Or, alternatively, we've got the infinity chicken, which is way more fun to mess with. This chicken will lay any random item you can imagine. Yo, we're just gonna make a paper trail to follow this chicken as it moves around. Hold on a second, what do we got? So, iron sword, okay. Pumpkin, golden hoe. What else do we get our hands on? Redstone repeater, golden horse armor. Okay, let's see what happens now. What are we gonna get, baby? Speed up that egg laying process. Press that button a couple times, we'll see what we're left with. My word. Diorite. We've got prismarine crystals, nether ore. We've got glass, bread, dye. <laughs> we got end crystals. It really is very, very random. Perhaps not as random as these sheep variants. First, we start with the stone sheep. This sheep eats stone, and it will give you stone as well as ores when it is sheared. So come on down, get some of that food in your body, baby. Yo, yo, yo. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him eat some stone. Do you think? Oh, you don't want me to look? He gets very self-conscious when people watch him eat. It's okay, I'm the same way. Well, I'll go ahead and shear you in the meanwhile. Sheared, sheared. Beautiful. So we got some ores. Oh, he just ate one of the stones. This little silverfish came out of it. But as you can see, this guy is a hungry wonder and literally ate the stone underneath. Now, I'll keep getting these ores. Thank you. And our other sheep is a bad sheep because it's a boss. <laughs> Get it? Oh, gosh, it's attacking me. Easy does it, sheepy. I need to use my bow for this one. Problems. Where's the sheep? Get it. Get it. Oh, he's going so fast! Please, sheepy. Oh, if he kills me, I'm gonna be so dead. Look at him just waiting over there. Oh, gosh, he heard me. Ha ha ha. But on death, we'll drop special shears. Ultimate shears. Yes, ultimate. We misspelled ultimate. These shears will shear all sheep at once. 
and it will also announce when you've sheared. Next up are villager variants. We start with the werewolf. This plain old villager will literally turn into an angry wolf at night. Oh, watch out, sheep. <laughs> you got bigger problems. And in the daytime, we'll turn back into a villager. Hey, buddy. Yo, you got any traits? No? Well, then turn into a wolf. At least you're adorable this way. Hey, we got another one right here. The Tinkerer. This is a new villager type that will sell you redstone components. We got some emeralds right here. Check it out. Ooh. Redstone dust and slime balls for emeralds. Or you can get dispensers, note blocks, pistons, dispensers, droppers, hoppers, redstone repeaters, comparators, observers. Wait a second. Is he still dispensers two times? Oh, boy. Next up are squid variants, and unlucky number 13 is the Kraken, which will attack players and destroy any nearby boats. So, if we could just, I gosh, press this button, that would be really good. Press! Now, oh, he already destroyed my boat! And boy, is he fast! And boy, are my arms tired. I, whoa, he's got a bite on him, buddy! Yo, he's literally got me stuck in him. Oh, man! Oh boy, easy does it. Oh yo, calamari tonight, baby. Here's a cursed mob, creeper squid, rushes you and explodes and will also drop smoke bombs. What do you see when this thing comes for you? Oh, I guess you see red. Okay, let's attack from a distance. Yo, you suck. Nice, got the drop. Woohoo, smoke bomb. Don't mind if I do. You see, it smoked. Whoa, I'm invisible. Nice, best item to get from a squid ever. I mean, they normally just drop sacks. This is way better. How about some fish variants, like a wither fish, which will give you the wither effect when you get nearby him. Yo, Ein, yo, that hurts. Yo, hey, die. Yes. Every once in a while, the wither fish will actually drop a wither skull. So die. <laughs> I want the wither skull. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Oh, great. Worst day of my life. The fish killed me. Perfect. Right as I don't record it drops just take my word for it it dropped it or how about a spike fish shoot spikes drops poison vials nice yo ouch painful this guy will literally shoot out particle effects at you and if they hit you you better watch out you better not cry no, i'm just kidding this isn't santa claus you guys gotta calm down but i am telling you why it will poison you if you get hit by it check it out boom y'all's ready i ain't i've just been hit with poison saddest day of my life Bad poison, too. But we're gonna kill him and get ourselves a very special item known as the Vial of Poison. You can drop it on a weapon in order to give it a very special poison edge. And then you can poison things with it. Rainbow Trout. Very tasty. Yo, check out this special variant right here. Ooh, it's a rainbow trout. And look, what does it drop? Well, it drops a rainbow trout. And you can eat this rainbow trout. And what does it do? Nothing, it's just food. But hey, the red herring, very exciting. Anyone that knows anything about a red herring knows that they are tricky little deviants. Kill this red herring, and you'll be left with some extra fish. It was a ruse. But hey, I'll take extra fish. This stuff is expensive at the market. Now we check out Guardian variants, the Torpedo Guardian. Look at this black wonder. Let him hit you with his beam and you will get torpedoed. No, seriously, it's a real nasty one. Without any armor on, you are certain to, oh boy. It's actually, uh, just be careful. <laughs> the Vortex Guardian, it drops a vortex motor and it also does some other exciting stuff like vortexes you. It's literally bringing me towards him. I'm caught in a vortex, I cannot move. I'm literally trying to swim away, not working. Worst day, get, uh, got, fit. yeah. We just got ourselves a vortex motor. What's it for? Well, I'll show you in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean now. When you're underwater with this, if you press right click, you can actually swim around faster, even when you're in swim mode. So yes, that, that's, co that's cool. Now we've got some wolf variants. The red wolf. Finding this guy in your world will allow you to invoke its regen ability. Standing close enough to this little pup will literally give you regen just for hanging out. Oh, he loves me. I don't have any bones for you, man, so. Oh, wow. Well. <clears throat> Rude, but be careful running into the black wolf because this one will turn invisible when attacking assuming you have attacked it as well Hi little guy. Oh boy. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? I Oh gosh, they're both mad at me Yo, ha ha we got some horses next the rainbow horse This will create a rainbow trail behind it that will damage nearby mobs. So check this guy out ultimate rainbow 
Nice, and you can even see the trail occurring behind me. Now, if we were to attack another fellow creature with this thing, such as, you know, a husk, check it out. Yo, he's not that smart. He gets hit with the rainbow trail. Wow, it's beautiful. He's so dumb. He's literally caught in the rainbow circle. Can't do anything about it. Worst guy. Worst guy. Can you just die? I'm trying to thank you. Wow, look, if you jump, it's like a real rainbow. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Or maybe you get your hands on an ender horse, which runs very fast and jumps very high. Put this saddle on. Check this out. Ultimate speed. The craziest of all speeds. And then check this out as well. Yeet! <laughs> oh, boy. It spawned in a llama. I've never seen such a thing. It's the mysterious ender llama. Yeah, we'll have to check him out in a little bit. Hold on. Watch me clear this really quick. Yeet! Oh, so close. We got really close. In fact, you jump so high up that you actually take fall damage. Yo, best friend. Let me see if we can get to that water. Yeet. Oh, uh, yeah. That was cool. Next up are some ghast variants. And we're already halfway done with the king ghast, which is a mini boss, which will drop a fireball staff. But look at this guy. He's got a crown on and everything. I'm trying to get him to notice me. Notice me, senpai. Ugh. Notice me. Yo, dummy, with your big old crown. Okay, he has no interest in fighting, he's royalty. But if you manage to take him out, he will drop a very special item. Just keep in mind, this ghast, oh boy, he's got more health than a regular ghast. And that's for good reason, because he's harder to kill, because he's the king ghast. And he will drop a special item. The fireball staff, which you can right click to shoot fireballs with. Who'd have thought? Uh, hopefully you. Oh, he tried to destroy the other ghast which is the laser ghast. Now, the laser ghast will shoot lasers and it will inflict wither effect on you. See, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Hey, notice me. It's like he doesn't even care. Darn, darn, yeah. Maybe one of them will notice me. Come on. Embarrassing, there we go, Ein, see? He, he, oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. This is what I'm talking about, laser beam alert. Okay, now you do want to make sure you're fairly level with the gas. I don't know what they're shooting at necessarily, but... Oh, boy. Yo, <laughs> this is bad. Uh, someone stay away from me, please. Next, we got variations of the Wandering Trader. First off is the Nether Trader. This guy's got a cool red robe, and when you right-click to trade him, you get a whole bunch of Nether Trades. Blaze Rods, Nether Bricks, <laughs> Air, Quartz, Glowstone, a Wither Skeleton Skull, which is quite expensive. Oh, gosh, you think that's expensive. 64 blocks of Emerald for a Nether Star. Well, hey, at least now you've got a way to get one without needing to battle the Wither. Peaceful players, and of course, the other variant is the Ender Trader with his purple robe, which will offer you end objects such as <laughs> air, chorus flowers, and stone, and rods, and crystals, shulker shells, and again, for a whopping 64 blocks of emerald, you can get your hands on some wings. Yeah, buddy, a little bit of a ripoff. But where's the other one? I need to be fair. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. RIP OFF! Now we've got some silverfish variants. We start with the iron fish. This has a chance of spawning in when mining iron ore. And as you saw a little bit earlier, it will drop iron nuggets upon death. So now you're gonna have to keep your sword handy when you go mining. It's not gonna happen every time, but there's always a chance that it does in fact happen at some point or another. Now, of course, you've got another variant of the silverfish available. It's known as the leech and it will literally stick to you the moment it's nearby, continuously damaging you until you manage to attack it off of you. This will from time to time spawn in in favor of a normal silverfish. Now some witch variants. We start with the necromancer, which can summon in mobs as well as hit you with these potion games. So check this one out. He's just summoned in a skeleton, more effective at night, you may have guessed. Die. Oh boy, and of course the witch commander, which will buff nearby mobs so now you've got this witch here and it's sped up the zombie and it's causing the skeleton to get extra effects on it oh my gosh he just dealt a whole mess of damage Ooh, oh i'm so glad i have cake makes me feel better yummy ah ha ha yeah seriously we got to take these witches out because they're they're drinking the fire is oh boy i am almost dead now we've got some bouncy slime variants. Let's start with the mud slime, who will from time to time when bouncing around cause a dirt block to appear out of nowhere. <gasps> Look at you. Wow, contributing to the environment. Soil or something. Die. 
And we also have the toxic slime, which is a little greener than your normal slime and will, from time to time, cause a toxic cloud to appear around it, which is capable of poisoning you if you get too close. Man, I gotta say, that is a really lovely green. You're so... Oh, I think it killed itself. That is a lot of poison, too. That was like 20 seconds of poison. Two new blaze types as well. The airy blaze, which is a little redder than normal. And if hitting you with his fireball is something you're interested in, or at least nearby, you'll begin to levitate and more than likely take some fall damage. Yes, in fact, I did take some fall damage. I hate when that happens. And if I can press the button... <clears throat> Just missed it. All right, we've got the Dark Blaze, which has a black hue to it and will blind you with his fireballs upon impact or nearby impact. So, if you happen to cross one of these, recommend you get rid of them as fast as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time seeing left from right. Making note that you'll also get special arrow drops from each of these blazes, the levitation arrows, as well as the blindness arrows. Now, we've got some bee variants. Let's start with the beauty. This will pollinate animals, AKA breeding them. They will need to gather some flower fodder first. So once their butt is filled with some lovely, sorry, behind, I missed my shot there. Right, nice and pollinated, come on. Are you serious? Yes, come closer, bee. Check out these little guys. When they get near mobs, it will cause those mobs to love on each other and spawn in a little baby. Look, he's impressed, good work. You are a great wingman. And of course, we've got the ore bee, which has got a little bit more of a stone-like feel to him. Similar story, once this thing has been pollinated, it will have the ability to pollinate nearby ores with various different types of ore, whether that's coal, iron, sometimes you'll get some gold, sometimes he'll go inside his nest. Oh gosh, this is not what I had in mind. Look, he's still, he's mad and he's still pollinating. Come on down. Oh, we got some diamonds. Well, hey, you didn't die in vain, did you? Some Endermite variants. The Ender Leech is similar to that Leech Silverfish. This one will latch to you, except it will also have the ability to teleport you from time to time as well. So you'll want to kill that thing as soon as possible. And of course we've got the Endermite Assassin, which also has the ability to move around and teleport. Mmm, very difficult to strike if you're not very good at, well, Minecraft. <laughs> I happen to be an expert at Minecraft. See, I killed him. New types of llamas. Ender llama teleports to the player when they are too far away. I don't know why you would want to. I don't have anything for you. Get away from me. Gosh, annoying. I don't spit on me. Rude. Now you have to die. And of course the airy llama, which makes no sense. <laughs> what do you mean? What? You don't make any sense. You shouldn't exist. You're a floating llama. Nobody cares. I stop spitting. Vindicator variants. We start with the hunter. Check this guy out. Golden Axe of Truth. It's actually a mystical axe. And upon taking this guy out, you'll be able to have a chance at grabbing it. It's right here. Boom. Mystical axe. Or mythical. One of those two. Now looking at the stats of this thing, we'll see that it gives you a speed boost. It has low attack speed, but pretty decent attack damage. So when you've got this in your hand, you can move around at insane speeds. We also have the Trapper variant of the Vindicator, which will place down traps nearby it. And these traps are gonna be capable of doing a whole lot of damage to you. More importantly though, they're invisible to the eye. We just triggered one right now. Weakness, poison, and slowness the moment we stepped over this thing. So if you could just get away, please. Oh, just barely made it. Now some variants. That's bear bear variants, get it? Cause yeah, okay, black bear. That, okay, well that's not a black, that's a, that's the, um. Okay, just pretend this bear is black, okay? Oh, now it's black. Oh, play these games. Did you see that? I don't even know what happened. Anyways, this bear, <laughs> that's it. He, it's just a regular bear, it's just, it's just black. And I guess it drops berries? Sure, I do like berries. Now we've got the Sky Bear, which is a mini boss that will summon in lightning nearby. So, you know, don't stick around it too. Oh my gosh, it is just still going to town. On death, this bear will drop a special staff. See, it's right here. It's the lightning staff. Wow, right click with it. And guess what? Wherever you're looking, lightning is summoned in. <laughs> Strong. For these cat variants, we're in creative mode, otherwise they'll run away, and that doesn't make for a good video. We start with the neon cat, which is a nice rainbow cat, similar to our rainbow horse, except this one you'll want to kill. Sorry, kitty. It drops something special. It drops 
Rainbow treats. Can't say I know why this bread is rainbow or what made it rainbow. Can't say that I care. All I can say is that I'm hungry and I ate it and it's mine now. And of course we have the Overlord Kitty Cat, which is an invulnerable cat, which will also spawn in random items from time to time. Now, I'm in creative mode so I can deal damage to the cat, but normally I would not be able to notice the poison effect has no effect on said kitty. Now, we're gonna wait for the cat to spawn in some items. Yeah! Yo, finally got one! It took forever, but we managed to get a suspicious stew. Just take my word, they spawn in items. Our final two mob variants today. One of them is the zombie familiar, which will take on the form of the player. Wow, yo, you are on fire! Looking good. Oh gosh, I've become female. I didn't realize it was that easy. And number 50 today, my friends, is the zombie miner, which will spawn in underground and will from time to time delete any blocks that it happens across, like those torches and that sign. We've got 50 more mob variants coming in a future video very soon, so make sure you subscribe to see it right as it comes out.